Dear Diane, I'd like to thank you for leaving an L on the side of your package. In the bottom right hand corner of your Diane Megamix. To signify that it's large. Because you'd be surprised to know that lots of companies fail to do that and leave you at the mercy of barcode numbers or even just having to learn Chinese. Signed, the entire English and all Latin alphabet using languages. It signed everyone who speaks any Latin alphabet language. Right, let's open this. open the first box but we're not actually got to the mega inks. But there we go. Right. So this is the Diane Mega Minx Pro L large. So this is slightly larger than the original. Yeah, I mean you can see that yeah this one is slightly larger. It's just the same puzzle, like there's no difference. It's still slightly smaller than the Yuhu. So, I mean, the Diane Megaminx was just small in general, so now they've produced one that's slightly closer to normal size, but it's still actually slightly smaller than the Yuhu V2M. Um, let's just check the weights. So, yeah, 100 grams, Yuhu V2M is 157 grams. <laughs> And this new Diane Megamix Large is 114. So basically, the Diane Megamix Large is getting closer to normal. But then I think the standard trend is going down for Megamix size. So yeah, I was very pleased that Diane actually released this. Obviously, I don't do much Megamix, but. In general, it's going to be very useful for Mega Minx solvers, and I suspect most Mega Minx solvers have switched to it. I should probably try and find out from top Mega Minxes, because I don't know for certain. But I'd assume they would have. Obviously, I did that interview with people when I got the original earlier than most people, which I was very pleased to do in KC. One twenty eight from first Mega Mix Solve in ages. I don't know how long it's been since I've done a Mega Mix Solve. It might even be the last time I could beat it. Was that even a dragon cubing? Was there even any means then? I don't even remember. So, yeah. I think I am actually going to switch to this. Like, obviously, my opinion's pretty irrelevant when it comes to Mega Minx, but I think this is my main Mega Minx. I think I can just say that right now because the other one is a bit too small. The regular is a bit too small, and this just fixes that, so, yeah. Okay, so in conclusion, 
I really like the Dio Megaminx L and I think yeah, it's just going to be the go-to Megaminx for everyone now. I think most people will prefer this over a Yoohoo. Obviously this is the Core Magnetic Yoohoo from PyCube so maybe some people will still prefer this. But it is a lot heavier and now that this is the same size basically, I mean it's slight, still slightly smaller and so much lighter and still got all the features of Core Magnets, it's just going to be the go-to Megaminx for everyone now I think. So yeah, thanks for watching, please like, comment, share and subscribe. You can buy this for £29 at speedcubing.org.